Local control versus cloud control is an important factor to consider when building out your smart home. But in my opinion, it's a very easy choice. Here are five reasons that a local smart home is a better smart home. Reason number one is that a local smart home is just plain faster. If you have a cloud smart home, anytime you want to control a device or run an automation or routine, the devices that are in your house have to send their data out to your internet connection to a server in the cloud and it then has to think about what decisions and actions it wants to take and then it sends that data back to your house through your internet connection and to the device it wants to control and that's a lot of additional latency. This is in contrast with a local smart home where a connection from your smart home platform and your devices are happening pretty much directly with each other. Oh, I should also clarify, local control applies to both the smart home devices as well as your smart home platform. So just bear that in mind that things we are talking about apply to both your devices as well as the platform. If we do what's called a ping test, which is pretty much the most basic form of communication between network devices, we see less than one millisecond of latency between my computer and my smart home devices when done locally. But repeating the same test to even a fast internet server results in latency that is significantly higher. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but it's still in the milliseconds rather than seconds, so what's the big deal? But this test doesn't take into account things like the processing time done by the smart home platform you're using and the amount of data that would actually be transmitted, all of which will add latency to a real world connection. For certain devices like your heating turning on, a few hundred milliseconds of latency compared to tens of milliseconds of latency probably isn't too big a deal. But for things like motion controlled lights, a few hundred milliseconds of latency of a delay between you entering a room and the lights coming on actually feels huge. And this is where speed can really start to matter. Plus, who doesn't want things to feel more responsive and faster. Reason number two that a local smart home is better is for privacy reasons. With cloud control systems, as we discussed, every time you interact with your device or you run an automation or routine, that information is being sent to the cloud for processing. And you can bet that every action you do in your house is being logged and recorded. Most likely this data is being used to help improve the system, but there is also the potential that a lot of it is sold to advertisers and other data analytic companies. Sure, you might not be too bothered about someone else knowing when you turned on a light, but think about how this applies to data like your voice conversations, security camera footage, and even potentially your location data. The third reason a local smart home is better is for reliability. With a cloud control system, there is one link in the chain that has the potential to render your smart home useless, your internet connection. Smart home platforms like Google Home and ALEXA rely on an internet connection to do pretty much anything. And if they don't have that internet connection, then you can't control even the most basic aspects of your smart home. Alexa, turn on the office lights. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. It's not just an internet connection you need to worry about, but it can also be an outage at Amazon or Google or whoever that can also be a concern because you are relying on them maintaining the platform. Now granted, these are huge companies with infinite resources and outages are few and far between, but it only takes the one outage to cause you massive headaches and we have certainly seen these companies have problems over the years. Not being able to shut your curtains remotely might not be the biggest deal ever, but if you end up in a position where you can't turn your lights on or even your heating on, then that could certainly be a much more frosty situation. The fourth reason a local smart home is better is better future-proofing from a longevity perspective. With devices that are controlled locally rather than being connected to a cloud, you aren't reliant on a brand still being in business in five years time, or even just continuing to support that device that you bought for more than a couple of years. Some companies will even terminate their online services for that product, meaning that you have no choice but to upgrade. Also with cloud devices, imagine you bought a product because it had a specific feature advertised that you really wanted to use, and then two years later after you bought it, the company removes that feature through a software update 
that you had absolutely no control over because it just happened automatically. I'm guessing you would be pretty disappointed. We've actually seen this already with TP-Link Casa products and even more recently in the Google versus Sonos lawsuit. But with local devices, you aren't dependent on that company still being in business in a few years time and you can be in control of what that device does and when it does it. The final reason a local smart home is better is for security reasons. With cloud connected devices, your data is being sent out to someone else's servers, which means that it's up to that company to protect and secure your data. Now, these companies do have lots of resources at their disposal, and you would like to think that they are doing everything possible to keep your data secure. But this also makes them more lucrative targets and just being a big company doesn't necessarily mean that you are following good security practices. And the lawsuit against Amazon's Ring video products are a perfect example of that. Now, again, you may not care if someone can control your lights remotely, although that could get pretty tedious quickly, but think about when it comes to security cameras, doorbells, baby monitors even, you probably don't want anyone being able to access and view those whenever they want. Now, of course, on the local side, it's completely possible for someone to get a bit gung-ho with security with their own devices, but at least it's something that you have within your control. And if you want to, you can completely block local devices from accessing the internet so that there is no risk there. So there we go. That's my top five reasons for choosing smart home devices and a smart home platform that is local rather than cloud controlled. Now, by no means am I saying that local control is perfect. There are one or two minor drawbacks, but I do think the pros far outweigh the cons. And in my opinion, local control is the way to go every single time. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you a local control person or are you a cloud control person who is now reconsidering and thinking about moving to local or at least moving to local control as much as possible? Please do let me know down in the comments. And if you're looking for something else to watch, then check out this video over here where we talked about how to actually start a smart home in 2022 and my philosophies to look for when starting a smart home. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.